All right, everybody. This is part two of my original solar video that I filmed last year. Sorry it took so long to get the uh, second portion filmed. Uh, you know how things are. So let's start here from the grid, okay? What I have is I actually have an AC backhaul coming in from the grid going into this box here, okay? And I've got 30 amps coming in. That's going up here to this inverter, okay? And it's actually uh, hooked into the inverter's charger, okay? So I use this AC backhaul as a supplemental power source to charge the batteries when it gets really dark for a long time because it gets dark for a long period of time here in North Idaho. So this actually supplements the solar panels. I have a 4,000 watt pure sign low frequency inverter 24 volt from Ames it's an industrial grade inverter and it's uh, actually got a few modes on here it's got a power saver mode if you want to use it as a backup system and it's got a you know an on all the time mode and off of course so this power save mode if you turn it on that what it'll do is it'll basically go into sleep mode until you pull 25 watts or more and then it'll turn itself on and power whatever you need to okay so the inverter is actually going out to this panel here which is the AC disconnect panel okay I've got this powering the shed plus it's going to the house okay I've got a 20 amp and a 15 amp breaker right now these cables here coming out are data cables these are cat 6 cables that are going to the house I need to install some panels inside the house so that I can uh, retrieve data and um, you know control the inverter and the charge controller without having to come out to the shed okay so out, out of there we also have you know the shed lights and, and some other AC outlets here what else I've added is a turbine a wind turbine coming in here going through this uh, switch here all the way over to this 35 amp uh, PWM charge controller and then from here it's going down out into the battery bank okay so it's kind of an independent independent circuit there from the wind turbine the wind turbine is uh, they don't really do well where we live um, it's a big waste of money but uh, you know I'll cover more of that later so also coming out of the inverter this is where everything uh, you know routes through this DC disconnect panel here or so it's coming out uh, from here into this uh, 60 amp MPPT charge controller and then it gets rerouted back through here down to the battery bank and here are all the disconnect switches on this panel we have the charge controller we have the photovoltaics um, you know and all that in the main battery disconnect right now I've got six batteries uh, I need to I have two more that I'm about to add but I've got six batteries 115 amp hours each running it to uh, 24 volts so this actually powers everything from I have a fr freezer or refrigerator and lights and miscellaneous electrical items that are powered um, from the solar system right now and that's that I will hit uh, the next phase of showing you the solar panels and then I will show you the wind turbine and then I'll show you the house where it's all plugged in okay these are the solar panels that I have right now I have four Canadian solar 230 watt panels here in the front and in the back I have two Chinese solar panels and those are 300 watts each okay these front panels each one pushes out 7.78 amps the rear panels I believe it's 8.5 amps now let me show you one thing here look at the front panel section okay these are actually on the ground okay the panel frame that I built 
to rack these things up. Originally, it was just made out of angle iron, but the mistake is weeds get overgrown in the front if they're on the ground like this, and snow buries the bottom of them. If you build an angle iron frame, do not design it to where the panels sit on the ground. What you want, is you want something like this, okay? This frame here, I designed it to where the panels sit off of the ground about 18 inches. So the snow doesn't gather and the weeds don't really affect the, the panels much, okay? So I have a combiner box combining all of these solar panels right here. Everything comes into this box here. Okay. This is the combiner box. And that's that. Next I'm going to show you the solar or the uh, wind turbine. Okay. So there's the turbine. It almost never spins. Number one, we leave in a spot, turns out, where it almost never blows the wind. Uh, here are the anchor points. These are four foot deep. Concrete. Guy wires here. I hope that sun's not bothering you. Okay, and there's the turbine up there. Um, we got this to supplement the solar, which I think it would have been better for us to just buy another, you know, six solar panels for the price that we ended up paying. Six or eight solar panels for this little turbine here. It's a huge waste of money, but it does spin in storms. Um, and it does spin in the winter occasionally when, you know, and the storms do happen. Okay, here's the solar coming into the house. The panel with the uh, AC backhaul going out and solar coming in. Um, there's a 20 amp breaker right there. Um, I know I have a 30 amp on the inside. I need to match that up. That's going into one outlet into the house right now. Now, we need to install at least four more outlets to go, one to go behind the refrigerator and, um, you know, the freezer and a bunch of other stuff. Now, when we come over here, now my uh, inverter is not a two-phase inverter. So, in order pr to pressurize our well system, we also have a generator here. Well, 4K generator does pressurize everything when the power's out. If the grid is out, all I get, all I have to do is just turn this down and have my generator turned on when that happens, and everything works. Um, it does do my well pump and uh, my pressure system. So, you know, what I need to do, what my plan is to to replace my current inverter with a two-phase inverter and run the wire down here under the dirt of course through conduit right up here where the um, generator is plugged in because this is the entire house okay and that's that